six months since 2004 in order to be more democratic while cultivating collective wisdom. In the past, making money was the highest priority of a business. In 2000, many companies failed. But the new thing invests more than 10% of its retained earnings on R&D every year. The new thing knows that a great phone must support swift communications, chip-centric computing, and feature a durable design in its own way. The new thing has strategic focus on creating a new digital life consisting of cloud, pipe, device, and core system. All of the new thing's efforts offer consumers valuable products and meaningful innovation. The new thing's unchanged vision is the pursuit of the perfect machine. We're five hours into CES 2018. Maybe enough time that you've already seen innovations that will change your perspective on the world. And as you will see across the show, many of today's innovations rely on fast, secure, dependable connectivity. From smart, smart blah, let me try that again, from self-driving cars to smart cities, from smartphones to new content and entertainment options, and of course 5G is the future of connectivity. Uh, so big player, in fact you will see us again every year and we come back here. You know, that's uh, 2018, it's a new era of connectivity. Today we are living in a fully connected, uh, interactive world. And we connected uh, several billion people, several hundred million of machines, and uh, several thousand billion of information. <coughs> For connecting people, today the smartphone is the connectivity hub for the human beings. Everyone of you is using smartphone. And uh, you know that uh, every 10 to 12 years, and uh, for the mobile phone have big innovation. You will see the last 10 years is a strong growth of smartphone. Today, almost everyone is taking smartphone for, for their work, for everything, for their digital social network. And now this, we are on the, the next 10 years. So today, the artificial intelligence is coming, What's the phones for the next 10 years? Is that in the phone? Today the smartphone, maybe that is not, not smart enough. Maybe we need more intelligence. And for Huawei, we invest a lot of money. We invest, our investment power the AI revolution. The last 10 years we spend over 45 uh, billion US dollars in R&D, not including last year. Maybe the last, uh, and uh, in the last year, we, you know, in year 2016, we invest around 11 billion US dollars on the R&D. And last year, 2017, our fiscal year, you know, the figure is not coming uh, yet. But uh, from we focus, we are around maybe more than 12 billion US dollars in last year, the R&D investment. So we have huge investment for future, for the future technologies. And also, you know, we provide the world's first smartphone with the AI processor inside. This is a Huawei Mate 10 Pro. You know, that's we launched this uh, in Munich. But today, we bring this phone to the we bring this phone to the United States market, to North American market. And then this phone is the first flagship phone in the world. We have the AI processor inside. So very good consumer feedback, and we win the best uh, smartphone of the year 2017 by the Android Authority. <coughs> and also we win a lot of the best smartphone awards. And uh, it's also um, by many, many uh, tech media. The feel the speed is still that's not fast enough. And the third one, the, the outdated design of the phones, they complain. And also, they complain about the poor camera in terms of smartphone. <clears throat> because today, uh, people are more and more they are using smartphones to take a photo, take a video. <laughs> the our solution is Huawei Mate 10 Pro with our ultra long battery life and with uh, our full view uh, sleek design and also with our 
super fast connectivity and a uh, professional camera powered by AI technologies, which can bring the best experience to the consumers. That's the first look at our design. The Mate 10 Pro, and we are using a 6-inch audio display, high control, high uh, color saturation, and now it's uh, 18 to 9 uh, uh, display. So this uh, this can help you to have a vivid uh, picture and have a full view display. Actual level battle. This phone has a, a screen. It's a six-inch phone, but a more large screen, a full display mm -hmm. compared with other phones. More large display, but also with more usability. You can see there's no the no, uh, notch uh, on the display <laughs> and no round corner on the display, so you can fully use the screen and also with a much narrow bezel. And also this phone is very calm, not only very compact, but also with large battery inside. Inside this slim, compact body, we have 4,000 mAh battery. Oh. And it's not so bulky like the other phones, but not so tiny, it's too small, but it's the right size for your, in your hand. And also this phone is fit in your hand comfortably. Because it's a 16 inch phone, but it's more compact, smaller size than the 5.5 inch. And also, with the, this phone, have the signature uh, strap <coughs> on the back, on the camera across it. You can see that. And also, the curved design on the back, with all the curved design on the back, is uh, fit in your hand comfortable. A 3D curve. And a purely symmetrical design. The every element of the, this phone is a purely symmetrical, uh, beautiful. And we bring to the US market a titanium gray and the mocha brown. This color is mocha brown. It's a very unique color. Uh, it's uh, only from Huawei. Have uh, this color. <laughs> and also midnight blue uh, is my uh, favorite color. Midnight blue. So totally, we bring three color for the North American market. Better performance, better energy efficiency. To help you to play in game um, better. <coughs> and we proud of in this phone, we have the world the leading technology on the full antenna technology. Super fast, the one gigabit LTE technology. You know, typically the other flexi phone only have two antenna, two antenna, but we call the antenna four antennas inside this phone. So we earn a trust for the global. We earn the trust of global uh, consumers, and we are today we are top three smartphone provider. But our market share is growing rapidly. And also, you know, Huawei we have <coughs> very strict uh, control on the privacy and the security, and we have global regulation uh, compliance. And also, you know, that we are from the chipset level to the hardware consumption chipset. And also, the software integrity power management to let the phone have actual long battery life. So Huawei Mate 10 Pro, the long-lasting battery for heavy users over one day heavy usage, and around two days for normal users. You know, for heavy users, for the other flagship phones, typically they only can work in half day. But for us, you can use it. For the Mate 10 Pro, you can use it from the early morning to midnight, and 300 times faster than the wireless charging, and also even 50 percent, 50 percent faster than the iPhone 10's fast charger. But the inbox they don't have this fast charger. Powered by AI, it's dual camera and a dual ISP imaging signal processor, and also with an AI engine inside. And this phone has the world dual as uh, the largest aperture, dual f1.6 camera with uh, is the highest standard, uh, the most advanced uh, Leica uh, dual camera on the smartphone. And it supports the OIS uh, optical image drive either. And a uh, four-in-one hybrid super fast focus. And also support hybrid room. So we want this. The very large actual camera has the best 
photo capability in a low, especially in a low light condition. <coughs> and inside this phone, there are AI processor. So this AI processor already learned over 100 million photo images. So the phones can understand the object. So it can understand 13 objects and things recognition for you to take to automatically tune the camera to help you take the best photo. <coughs> Why you taking flowers close to the flowers? I you can recognize it's uh, taking flowers. You're taking the green grounds. It can help you to take a bad photo. You can see. I know when you take a food, it can recognize it's a food. And also, you know, it's the most difficult uh, to take a photo in, in a low light condition, in the sunset. This is in New York, taken by the May 10 Pro. You can see that in a low light condition, how good the quality this picture. And also, this photo is taken by the, this May 10 Pro in Los Angeles, in the sunset, in the seashore. You can see that. Today, the IoT empower the smart home. And today, in your home, you have a lot of home uh, equipment, uh, home appliances. Uh, each of them are working separately. And uh, they are multi technology, uh, different uh, OS, uh, different, uh, they are working separately. Lack of one ecosystem to let them work together. Uh, it's uh, currently the smart home the problem. And for Huawei, we bring the high link smart home solution. The high link uh, enable, the, we have the light OS and high link protocol, so it's a phone can run as a PC. And also a gaming mode. Can, you can use it and also for the theater mode. And also, you know, we have a custom UI for your support. You know, many, uh, many of the Android users, they, they prefer the uh, app job, but we have that selection for your selection, the app job. But we have also the standard mode, the more simplified mode, and no need the app job. So it's depend on your selection. You can select it in the uh, setup menu. <coughs> And also, you know, this phone, we support the mobile device management, MDM, which can help you to have a global enterprise a mobile management uh, partnership. And we passed the Google, the mobile iron and sortie. They embedded, uh, enhanced the enterprise security and efficiency. This is especially for enterprise users. That's really very, very important. Screen onto an even bigger display. You can see here that we're in um, phone mode, so I'm just going to switch quickly to PC mode. <coughs> so you'll see how quickly that actually started up. <coughs> now, this is a great experience if you, for example, have a boss who is a great advocate of remote working, because you can really take this anywhere. You can use a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard together as well. But today, I'm going to show you a completely remote example. I'm going to turn the Mate 10 Pro into a virtual keyboard and mouse. Now, as you can see, I've got a desktop view here, which gives me access to all sorts of things, including my applications and even a file system as well. So everything I need for that office working on the go. <coughs> It's even so powerful, in which I can actually enjoy it a little bit. I can go and relax and watch any content that I'd like to of the evening and turn my phone into an entire cinema experience. Now, <clears throat> this is a great experience because I can actually double screen as well. I can use the two screens independently. Whilst I'm immersed in the movie, I can still stay connected with friends, family, news, social media, everything all together. Esperamos que les haya gustado esta transmisión con las principales charlas que se dieron aquí en el CES 2018 desde Las Vegas.